In this video, we are going to be cracking basic WEP passwords. So let's get started. So let me just go back to my Kali Linux virtual machine and tap on terminal and type in iwconfig. So to just check if my wireless card is actually connected or not. So iwconfig and you can see that my wireless card WLAN0 is actually connected and it's in managed mode. And I've also told you that whenever you want to hack Wi-Fi, you need to have your wireless card in monitor mode. So let me just convert, sorry. So let me just set my wireless card to monitor mode. I'm going to be using the first method. So I'm going to be using Airmon ng. But before that, I need to disable my wireless card. That is WLAN0 down. And next, I need to type in Airmon ng. Airmon ng WLAN, sorry. Airmon ng start WLAN0. Enter. And as you can see, now the monitor mode has been enabled and the name has been changed to WLAN0 mod. So remember that you need to be using this particular name from now, not WLAN0, but WLAN0 mod. So if I type in iwconfig, iwconfig, you can see that the wireless card is now WLAN0 mod. The name has been changed to WLAN0 mod and it is in monitor mode. Great. So now, let me just start sniffing the packets with the help of aero dump ng. So let me just clear first and type in aero dump ng space wlan0 mod, not wlan0. Here you have to put the name of the wireless card in monitor mode. And what is the name of the wireless card in monitor mode? That is wlan0 mod. Okay, great. So aero dump ng wlan0 mod, enter. And great, it started to sniff the packets and we are going to be hacking, you know, the UT Starcom. As you can see, the encryption is WEP. We're going to be cracking WEP password. Great. So let me just start targeted sniffing on UT Starcom because we're going to be cracking only UT Starcom password. So let us just do the targeted sniffing. So control C. I've told you how to do the targeted sniffing as well. So I'm going to be typing the command arrow dump. NG the BSSID, so BSSID, let me just copy the MAC address, so let me just copy the MAC address, paste it here, and the channel, channel is 11, and right now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy all those packets to a file, so basically AeroDump is going to capture packets, right, so I'm going to copy all those packets into a file. So I'm going to be writing, you know, write space and let me just give a name for the file. So, you know, maybe a uh, sniffed file, sniffed packets, sniffed packets, great space. Here you need to put the name of the wireless card in monitor mode. So that is WLAN0 mod. Before typing enter, I want to tell you the concept how this works. So basically, the packets that we capture has a thing called IV. Yes. Okay, let me just uh, open a new terminal. So new window. So the packets we capture has something that is called as IV. Okay, fine. Now we have a tool called Aircrack NG, which can actually use these IVs and crack WEP password. The more the IVs, the more it will help the Aircrack NG tool to crack WEP passwords. And how can we get more IVs? By capturing more and more packets. Okay, got it? Cool. So let me just close this and hit enter. So hit enter. So as you can see, we are doing targeted sniffing and you can also see that there is one device connected and that is my Apple iPhone. You can see that we got only six data here. But I told you that we need to have lot of data, that is lot of packets so that we can get more IVs and crack WEP password. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to browse YouTube on my phone right now. So let me just browse any video. And as soon as I do that, you can see that the data gets increased. So I'm going to start now. So now the data is increasing. That means we are getting more and more IVs. Let me just wait till the data increases to 10,000 so that we can get 10,000 IVs. And as I told you, the more the IVs, the better, you know, for the Aircrack NG tool to crack the password. So let me just wait till I hit 10,000 IVs and later we can use Aircrack NG tool to crack the WEP password. So as you can see here, now the data is about 10,000. So let me just start the Aircrack NG tool and start cracking the WEP passwords. So let me just open a new window. 
so new window and just put it here and put this window right here great so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this air crack ng tool so air crack ng space but before that let me just remove this type ls so that you know you can see all the files in the home directory so whenever you type ls you can basically get all the files and folders in that particular directory so right now we are in home directory you can just check that by typing pwd so whenever you type in pwd you can get you know where you are at you can basically know in which directory you are at so as you can see we are in the root directory and whenever you type in ls you can get all files and folders in that particular directory that we are in so basically these are all the files that are in root directory okay cool so as you can see we have got the file that is snipped packet 01.cap which was the file that we named while we started capturing packets so we need this file to crack you know the WEP password and I'll tell you how so what you need to do is aircrack ng aircrack ng space the name of this file so just copy so copy this and paste it here that's it enter and now it is starting to crack the passwords as you can see we are at 14,915 IVs so the aircrack ng failed to crack so it is gonna start cracking again after it collected 15,000 IVs that is after we hit 15,000 data packets so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll just browse something so that you know it will hit so as you can see it started to hit 15,000 so as you can see it failed again so let me just wait so 20,000 packets let's see if it succeeds No, it failed again so it is starting again it failed again so it will start again at 30,000 IVs just wait for this process to complete and finally we'll get the WEP password and there you go the process is now complete and we cracked the WEP password so let me just resize this window as you can see the password so this is the password that is ABCDEFGHIJKLM and you can see that Acrack NG could only use this after getting 65,000 IVs and as you can see here the error dump ng is still collecting those packets that means the file that is you know this particular file that is let me just type in ls that is this particular file that is sniffed packets dash 01.cap so as long as the error dump ng you know keeps collecting the packets the size of this file increases that means we get more ivs that means the acrack ng will be able to crack the wep password so for now these IVs help the ACRAC ng tool to crack WEP password and the password is ABCDEFGHIJKLM. So how to test it? Let me just go to my Apple computer. So let me just tap on Wi-Fi, tap on UT Starcom and type in the password that is ABCDEFGHIJKLM. So show password. So this is the password that we got right here that is a b c d e f g h i j k l m so let me just tap on join and wait for and wait for it to be connected and as you can see we got the tick mark that means the wi-fi is now connected so this is how you actually crack the wep passwords but let me just tell you something so let me just close this window and bring this window so as you can see here my apple laptop got connected so that means the Wi-Fi password was correct. Now there are two devices connected to my UT Starcom. Previously it was only Apple phone, but now the Apple computer, that is Apple laptop got connected too. But let me tell you about a situation. What if there are no devices connected to UT Starcom? What if there are no devices connected to UT Starcom? What happens? So if there are no devices connected to UT Starcom, this particular data will be zero, right? because no one is actually using that UT Starcom. So that is the reason there will be no data at all. If there is no data, there will be no IVs. If there are no IVs, there is no way for the aircrack ng tool to actually crack the WEP password. So what to do in that situation? We'll discuss that in the next video. See you in the next video.